The police team had put out Shamshorn's eyes, and Shamshorn called to Yahweh and said, O Lord Yahweh, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O God, that I may be at once avenged of the police team for my two eyes. And Shamshorn took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house of the great sacrifice of Dargon rested and leaned upon them, the one with his right hand and the other with with his left, and Shamshorn said, Let me die with the Polish team, and he bowed himself with all his might, and the house fell upon the lords, and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead that he slew at his death were more than they that he slew in his life. Then his brothers and all the house of his father came down and took him and brought him up and buried him between Thara and Eshtaol in the burying place of Manor, his father. And he, he had judged Yishrael twenty years. Shofetim, Judges, chapter 17. And there was a man of the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Mikhayahu. And he said to his mother, The thousand and hundred pieces of silver that were taken from thee, about which thou didst utter a curse, and didst also speak it in my ears, behold, the silver is with me. I took it. And his mother said, Blessed be my son of Yahweh. And he restored the thousand and hundred pieces of silver to his mother. And his mother said, I verily dedicate the silver to Yahweh from my hand for my son, to make an engraved image and a cast metal image. Now therefore I will restore it to thee. And when he restored the money to his mother, his mother took two hundred pieces of silver and gave them to the smith, who made thereof an engraved image and a cast metal image. And it was in the house of Michah Yahu. And the man Michah had a house of gods, and he made a Heford and Teraphim, and consecrated one of his sons, who became his priest. In those days there was no king in Yishrael. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. And there was a young man out of Bethlehem Yehuda, of the family of Yehuda, who was a Lewi, and he sojourned there. And the man departed out of the city, out of Bethlehem Yehuda, to sojourn where he could find a place. And he came to the hill country of Ephraim, to the house of Michah, as he journeyed. And Michah said to him, Whence comest thou? And he said to him, I am a Lewi of Bethlehem Yehuda, and I go to sojourn where I may find a place. And Michah said to him, Dwell with me, and be to me a father and a priest, and I will give thee ten pieces of silver by the year, and a suit of apparel, and thy victuals. So the Lewi went in, and the Lewi was content to dwell with the man, and the young man was to him as one of his sons. And Michah consecrated the Lewi, and the young man became his priest, and was in the house of Michah. Then said Michah, now I know that Yahweh will do me good, for the Lewi became for me for a priest. In those days there was no king in Yishrael.